Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if a USB device is not recognized and the device descriptor request failed. Then you're running a Windows operating system and that's somewhat modern. So we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in troubleshooting. Under control panel, you want to select troubleshooting. From the list, now you want to left click on hardware and sound, so just left click on hardware and sound one time. And now underneath device, select hardware and devices, use hardware and access devices connected to your computer. Left click on that, left click on next. Apply whatever fixes they recommend and then just proceed to left click on next. I would suggest again if you find what the issues are, resolve them. It usually will give you an automatic option to repair. And then I would suggest restarting your computer. Now if you're still experiencing an issue, I would further suggest after restarting, opening up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager. Left click on that one time. Now you want to expand the universal serial bus controllers, either double click on that or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. And now if you see any USB devices under here that say that they are unknown, so unknown USB device, you just want to right click on it and then uninstall. You want to do that for any USB devices that have the unknown in front of them and then again restart your computer after you've tried that. Now if you're still experiencing problems after restarting, we close out of here. Open up the store menu, type in power options, best match again, power options, left click on that. Whatever plan is currently selected, you want to left click on change plan settings. And then left click on change advanced power settings. You want to expand the USB settings here, so click the little plus next to it and then USB selective suspend setting, expand that one as well. So it might have an option for on battery and plugged in. You want to set the setting to disabled, so left click on if it says enabled here, it will open up a drop down and then select disabled. Once you're done with that, left click on apply and OK. We'll suggest restarting your computer as well, hopefully that will have resolved the problem. Now if you're still experiencing problems, if you close out of here, we open up Device Manager, and this is again after we restart our computer. Go expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers here, and then go through the list, and just right click, and then left click on Update Driver Software. Search automatically for updated driver software. Windows will search your computer and the internet for the latest driver software for your device, unless you've disabled this feature in your device installation settings. So left click on that. Again, just run through the list, see if there's any updates potentially out there for them. So hopefully one of those methods should be able to resolve your issue. I do hope, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.